Hi guys, welcome to Ultravision TV. I'm here with Nadia Valeri and we're going to have an interesting talk. Welcome Nadia. Hi. <laughs> so um, Nadia, just um, as a bit of an introduction, mm -hmm. tell us a bit about yourself in terms of your history. Obviously we, we know that um, oh, we've, from, from research you, you, you've got a company called Soulcoholics. Mm -hmm. So give us a bit of a bit down as to what Soulcoholics is. Okay, so Soulcoholics was formed 11 years ago, mm -hmm. um, by complete accident. Okay, accident, okay. <laughs> yeah. lot, I say a lot of good inventions are done by accident, so... <laughs> yeah, um, so I saw a gap in the market in terms of bringing um, everything soca, so from art, music, okay. culture, um, and this is the time of, like, you know, Facebook, so okay, I yeah. gained quite a, a massive following. And then I just started um, just publishing, like, you know, articles and, and music and things that would be of interest to, okay. yeah, to, to anyone. Um, and then I got approached um, to basically do interview um, artists that came okay. over yeah. um, and also get involved in terms of events. And that's pretty much where things yeah kind of open up right. and yeah okay. so yeah we did a first event uh, i think yeah about 10 years ago oh, wow. um and we got like 350 people into the place for the first time that was right. pretty good wow. and then we started to do like maybe every couple of months mm -hmm. and it just kind of built from there okay. um i've always been involved with carnival it's just a very natural <laughs> natural thing okay. um, where my mum's from Trinidad yeah. I got taken very young <laughs> I don't know why but she took us and that was it uh, <laughs> and I played no I know it was her fault so yeah we played mass and mm. obviously here in London with yeah. Notting Hill mm. and I think I've just always seen what is happening the evolution of mm. you know carnival yeah. in, in Trinidad and Perfect. the way that they I mean, from the sponsorship, mm -hmm. the grandeur of it, mm -hmm. just just everything that yeah. you do. And that's where I thought, okay, let me see, can I bring that here? Yeah, yeah. How can I tap into that? How can okay. we bring back the the sponsorships mm -hmm. and that kind of that level yeah, of yeah. things? And that's where I got, again, I got invited by accident to, <laughs> to um, basically have my own section within an existing band. Okay. So, so Colic went from doing events to yeah. then being involved in Carnival. So okay. it kind of evolved in that way. And yeah, 10 years, 11 years on, and we've just, that's, and we continue to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's now gone into concerts. So okay. yeah, it's right. been, it's been a bit, yeah, it, it's kind of evolved, um, I wouldn't say quickly, yeah. It's, it's just it's just kind of it's done I don't know it's, it's grown yeah. at the pace it needed to okay so yeah. where it is now is it mm -hmm. is it somewhere are you what would you say it's somewhere that you didn't have envisioned 10 years ago that in 10 years time I'll be in this position or, or how, how did it differ from what you thought to how it is now well you know I mean the plan really was to I guess do events that is accessible to mm -hmm. as many people as possible mm -hmm. Uh, put the events on in you know centrally located um, venues, nice venues, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and but make sure it's not you know not bougie mm -hmm. that kind of yeah, thing, yeah. but still nice, yeah, kind yeah. of that in the middle okay. kind of crown yeah. kind of thing, yeah. Um, and yeah, that that happened, and it was like okay, that was kind of like a, a good like you know tick for me, yeah. and I thought right, let's see how we can sustain this. Okay. And then, in terms of carnival, that just has kind of, I don't know, just this, it's got just, a massive, massive pull anyway, hasn't it? Yeah, mm. and you know, there's been a lot of learning mm. like from you know costume designing okay. to learning how to make masks okay. uh, fully um, to who we're now you know mm. partnered with, who we've been partnered with for I think like eight years. Mm. Um, and yeah, it's just about keeping 
a standard and yeah, yeah. keep go yeah keep, keep growing. evolving yeah, and growing yeah. and growing so yeah right. okay do you do you do costume design yourself then as well I don't you no don't? Okay. I don't I can't okay. <laughs> I just there's too many I got to kind of the first year it was very much like okay I was given that opportunity okay. yeah. and I um, I worked with a designer in Trinidad mm-hmm. um, and I basically gave her the concept like mm-hmm. every year I'm involved with the, the I guess the look and feel okay. um, so yeah. I don't actually design it but okay. I, I have input there yeah, yeah. and the designers know me they know okay. what I like okay. and they know what our the people who buy into it as well they know what, what you know what yeah. they're getting okay. so yeah it, i you know we have an input okay. um but yeah there was a few years that literally i made every single costume wow. in my section wow so that's dedication yeah. i like that kind of thing because yeah. it's it's interesting that you, you say that because it's like 10 years 10 years from now even people think oh, wow so cool it's everywhere but they don't understand that there was a lot of underwork that you've had to probably uh, fingers, yeah, fingers I've got burns <laughs> on places that I should have burns <laughs> this is it well, that, that I, I like those kind of stories because that is an element of if it's when, when things are worth something you, you literally sweat blood tears or everything you know, absolutely and, I, and, and it's passionate for you so it's something that I can see absolutely is, it's, it's your baby it's your everything it's, it's, this is who you are yeah it, is that is, is that kind of right to say? Absolutely. Yeah. I think, you know, I feel like I've got to this point now, in the, especially in the last couple of years, where everything that I've been working towards, um, I've now been able to make it a full-time job. Wow. Yeah. That's the key. Yeah. They, I'm doing something that I absolutely love. Wow. That is, yeah. that is the key of life. Right. That's it. Yeah, we're done. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> but essentially, that is literally it. It is yes. when you when you can do something that you love. There's it's never you never work a day in your life. To say. Absolutely. So mm-hmm. yeah, that that. But it hasn't come. It hasn't come easily. Course, it's yeah. taken a lot of you know um, gaming skills mm. and you know working for big corporates mm. and then taking that kind of mindset mm. and then applying it yeah, yeah. into into this industry yeah, yeah. and seeing where yeah where I can you know uh, build that but yeah. do it on the level for our community yeah, for our art for mm-hmm. our music yeah yeah, um, yeah so yeah wow. I'm quite I'm quite happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> so where does the music element fit into into Soulcaholics in terms of I know obviously you had a hand in designing the early the early um or making the early costumes for Soulcaholics. Yeah, yeah. But where does the music element come into how how did, how did where did that come kind of how I'm trying to explain it, like where um did you have a hand in that side as well, like as as, as physical as you did with the, with um, the clothes? I would say that's more my husband, so mm-hmm. DJ Crispy, who's part of the firing squad. Mm-hmm. Um, he has always, even before me, mm-hmm. before we got married, mm-hmm. he has always fortunately had a platform to be able to play um, new music okay. in, in all genres of music. Mm-hmm. Um, and come to carnival time, he's you know jumped on. Uh, well, he's been part of Kiss. Mm. He's been part of uh, Capital okay. Choice yeah. and various others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they've either had um, you know uh, trucks down there, mm. and they've performed, or they've taken up you know spaces yeah. and and broadcast live. Okay. Um, and then I guess from the time me and him got together I guess that kind of passion and kind of you know he saw how yeah Mm. and and he was you know he he had a great um platform on radio Mm. where new music and he was thought okay let's try let's put Soka out there you know not just nationally but globally um and with him he's one of these people who likes to he's always thinking about how how do we um, get the music out there okay. to the non converted Because okay, well, it's so If yeah. you're so head, you're so yeah, yeah, right? Like it so okay. for him, the fact that he came from you know a, a, a dance or hip hop mm. that kind of you know background, mm. he basically his niche is that he fuses you mm. know soca yeah. with whether it is you know dance hall, jungle, mm. garage, you know, hip uh, wow. like all kinds. So yeah, yeah. yeah he. Mm. That's how he kind of, the music element, and it's kind of grown from there. And then also nurturing like new, 
I'm not saying new talent, but mm. merging, like okay. um, the guys that all DJ um, mm. for, so the band is uh, United Colours of Mass. Okay. And because he's one of the older guys, right? <laughs> 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 he's going to hate me for saying okay. that. But you know, he's got the more, more experienced, experience, the go. more experienced. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, he, 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 he's, he's, he's done things yeah, like yeah. what the, these guys want to do yeah, yeah. and he's all about kind of, yeah, trying yeah. to, you know, nurture that talent yeah. and, and we're always trying to find opportunities mm. to, yeah, to give, you know, that to give music, yeah. in, in, especially in Soka, mm. um, more airtime. Just kind right? of keep it going. Yeah, yeah. Which kind of leads me to my next question. Okay. What do you kind of see going forward without revealing too much if there's anything secret or anything? I don't want you to kind of divulge everything. But is there anything that you kind of can, can give us a bit of a taste of what's kind of coming forward or what you'd like to see going forward? Well, uh, yeah. So, last year, August, um, I was involved with the Carnival concert. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so that was bringing a lot of artists over mm. from the Caribbean. Okay. Um, and maybe there might be something in Kathleen this year. Okay, know, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Maybe it's not enough for definite. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. That's all we can do. Yeah. So, um, what else? So, we've touched on the music side of So Colleagues, mm -hmm. the clothes. What else is involved in Under the Umbrella? <laughs> um, so I get DJ management. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we go to different carnivals, as in okay. we participate. Um, mm -hmm. We take it to Hackney. Okay. We go to Bristol, Reading. We go yeah up and down the country. Mm -hmm. um, we also uh, partner with other, I guess, promoters. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we take basically carnival in a box. Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> it is wow. it's basically. Yeah. Girls and guys, mm. dancers. Yeah. In we provide full costumes, okay. the DJs, and just mm. basically giving a Caribbean, you know, mm. real authentic Caribbean yeah, experience yeah. to yeah to to events. To so that. we do that. Yeah. yeah, we do that. Um, mm. Yeah, and concerts. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. <laughs> When's your next one? Have you got? Have you got a coming up anytime soon? Uh, events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so there's an event on the 22nd of February. Um, okay. That's Electric Brixton. That's okay. the Winter Carnival. Mm. Um, so yeah, you'll be able to see uh, the guys and girls like in all, all our costumes. Oh, okay. um, yeah. That's 22nd of February. In, yes. in where? Sorry. In the yeah, Electric Brixton. Electric Brixton. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So 22nd of February, guys. Yeah. It's not for that. Yeah. A couple other questions. So, yeah. do you feel that you're representing the Trinidad culture within your brand of yeah well yeah yeah within within your brand. Um, I would say it's not just Trinidad as much okay. as as much as that's you know my mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah cool. you know that's my background. Um, we, that's one thing we we um <laughs> pride ourselves on is that we know music from all islands mm. and we understand you know, the, the cultures and mm. the food and everything. Yeah. So, you know, in the events that we do, it's not just the music, we bring food, as we okay. have food there, so people get you know, involved in that. Food there. And yeah. even down to, like, the drinks, believe it or not, you mm. know, I'm always mm. saying to the, you know, the general managers, mm. I know what our people like to drink, yeah, yeah. let's get these brands in there, yeah, and, yeah. you know, and it's just, yeah, giving, mm. as I say, an authentic, Experience. Yeah, yeah, especially when it's coming from the heart, you know exactly what's going. You know what, yeah. you know what people are gonna like. You know yeah. they're gonna be like, well, I'm not sure about that. But yeah. I mean, for me, yeah. what, the first thing that comes out to my head when I hear Trinidad, yeah. Roti. Okay. I'm, I could yeah. have Roti every day in my life. Not down for it. Just roti. <laughs> do I know the difference? I'm not sure if I do actually. Oh, you know, uh, well, I'm, okay. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not okay. that experienced with Trinidad. Okay, okay. But, okay, but okay. I know Rota. Okay, and okay. It's nice. Not doubles or anything. Doubles I've heard of. I'm not I've heard of. Okay, you need doubles, to do yeah. that. I, 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 might, I might need to kind of have a, have okay. a, have a, have a Trinidadian um, tasting session. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to have to attend one of the alcoholic. Events. There you go. So that's me plugging myself to get to your event. Um, you're more than welcome to come. Of I'll, do, <laughs> I'll do that. Well, yeah. Nadia, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. And all the thank best you. for the future. And thank you. it's been an interesting kind of 
history lesson on, on where Soul College is getting their birth and where it's gone over 10 years and congratulations and well done. Thank and you. like I said, all the best for the future. Guys, that was Nadi, sorry Nadi. Did you have something to finish with? No. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I do apologise. So that's the end of our wonderful interview and guys stay tuned with Ultravision TV.